Welcome to Maeso. We're very, very pleased to have you join us. Thank you for dropping by. Today we are going to talk about one of the side hustles which I'd never even thought about is fish scales. That's right, fish scales. Every time you have a fish, you clean a fish and you throw away the scales, we are throwing away money. And we don't throw away money because it's hard to come by. So let's have a look at all the good research that other people have done on the internet. And we encourage you to do some more research if you're interested as well after you've watched the video. So here there's an article from National Library of Medicine. They're always a good place to start. So here it says, the Nile tilapia fish skin based wound dressing improves pain and treatment. Related cost of superficial partial thickness burns and phase three randomized control trial. This research is saying the fish skin actually helps in healing wounds, could be used as um, some kind of a band-aid to help those who have had severe burns. So if you look at this study, and for those biologists, scientists, or just those entrepreneurs, you know you live near a fish farm and that smell has been bothering you. Maybe that smell can now be turned into money and then it may not bother you so much. So if you look here um, and you go to methods, so they talk about patients and the body surface area, that would be the area covered by the burns, et cetera, et cetera. And when you look at the results, the conclusion here, it says that the result patients treated with fish skin required fewer days. By hastening repethylization, improving burn related pain and also the pain, right? And decreasing treatment related cost, they said Nile tilapia fish skin could benefit resource poor public health systems of developing countries. So the rest of us, it says gelatin supplements can enhance joints and bone health. That's key. And look also, it says fish-based gelatin encourages tissue regeneration, raising bone marrow density, um, offering alternative benefits for patients with osteoporosis. Hydroxypatite. Lots of scientific terminologies there, which I'm not a specialist on. Let's move on. Constituent from fish scales was also developed as a calcium bonding peptide, which promotes calcium cellular intake. So this is cheating. It's a long chain, odorless and tasteless amino polysaccharide of white and off-white color in its pure taste. So it is odorless and tasteless. And it's antibacterial and antifungal. Can you imagine the things that you can do with that? So look at that. Bioremediation gene therapy, cosmetics. Oh, cosmetics is going to be so huge. And it also has many beneficial properties as an antioxidant. Prebiotic, dietary fiber. Wow. Hypocholesterolemic agent. Cheating sounds like this amazing thing. So incorporating cheating into a protein-based meal was also shown to improve health, increase fatty acid production and modulate gut microbiota. That's got to be good. Sounds great. All that from fish scales. So please, our scientists, we consider visiting the continent to see how this can be developed there and partnered to start producing cheating based things for food, for gut microbiota, for dietary fiber, for probiotics, for antioxidants. Wow. Considerable amounts of micronutrients such as calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus were identified in fish scales. At this point, you just drop the mic. Fish scales has calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus. Wow. This is really phenomenal. Look at this one. Next to that, multiple micronutrient supplements had shown good results by improving growth and reducing the risk of anemia in infants. And look at this one here, preventing infection and diarrhea through the use of 
microbial agents. So that, that just blew everything. I didn't know those things. Thank you for just joining with us. We hope you enjoy this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and come back again as we all learn together about side hustles and being entrepreneurs. Thank you very much. Till next time. Bye. Thank you.